Alright guys, time to go out back again today. Hope you're all doing well and enjoying your day so far. Despite some fixes coming to Call of Duty Vanguard, the pro players are still not particularly happy with the state of the game. We've got doors, we've got destructible environments, the spawns seem to be an absolute disaster, the bloom as well not ideal at all, and Scumbo is talking about that the game in its current state is not particularly good at all, but definitely does have a high ceiling if they can fix some of these issues. Very much intrigued to your thoughts in the comment section below. If you enjoy the video, hitting the like button is the best thing you can do to help this channel reach more people. Please consider subscribing as well if you have not already. Firstly, this from the side of the doors as it, well, zero points out right here. Like, Zuma's trying to get through this door and for whatever reason it won't let him through. And then he kind of gets like a door stuck type glitch back in the CSGO days. Door stuck if you guys know that video. But it's kind of weird because it looks like he should be dying way sooner than he does. But for some reason the door just does not let him pass through. It's just some of these things like, why do doors have to be in the game? But whatever. They do create some nice finesse moments on occasion. But um, maybe in Search and Destroy that they're okay but in Respawn it's just a bit of a pain to be honest. You can close them and finesse around them. This is also from Jay, I was kind of confused about. He's playing a free-for-all right here, and it comes up with CDL domination. Now, as far as I know, right now, if you go to CDL, like, um, well, at least the game mode in the game, like, under the CDL setting, there's only hardpoint and search and destroy there, but, um, maybe some sort of glitch where CDL domination appears, and, uh, well, thanks to Naf for pointing this out to me, because it's kind of interesting why this would be the case, right? Because maybe they're thinking that, okay, if there are another game modes, we're gonna have to go for domination here if, like, control and CTF can't arrive in time, but, um, I don't think it's in the game, like, a officially yet, but maybe this glitch is indicative of something. I don't really know if that is the case, that that would be frustrating, but um, hopefully, well, hopefully they get a CTF or control in the game relatively soon, because the pros are going to start properly, like, hunkering down and practicing this game in scrims relatively soon indeed. They can do it right now for Hardpoint, they can kind of do it for Search, even though it's pretty broken. They don't even have a third game mode getting ready to go yet. Earlier today, we talked about the bomb defuse bug being scheduled for a fix sometime later this week. There's also the packet loss side of things, which you guys might be dealing with, or packet burst, or whatever it's called. During gameplay. This is another thing that they've known about apparently for quite some time now. On, even on the 6th of November they added it and um, they're currently investigating this issue and trying to figure something out. So I guess they're looking into it trying to figure out what's going on. Doesn't mean exactly it's going to be fixed particularly soon but um, of course there are other issues with the game itself. As Cold League say that's a doubly right there for fixing the bomb defuse bug which is of course certainly the case but we don't know when it's actually going to be arriving yet. And then Abizi goes what about spawns now right? To get on to the next thing like okay the bomb defuse bug is gone. That's pretty much going to fix search and destroy you would hope but for some other issues, but now the spawns are the main discussion. That really has been the issue with these pros playing Hardpoint the last couple of days, is like yes, the spawns are not exactly in the best spot, and there are a few examples of this. As Abizi says, squad spawn scrims, which um, is pretty much the case for every single Hardpoint map of the present time, and some of the stuff I've seen is pretty ridiculous. This, for example, I thought was kind of funny. As Parasite says, best Hardpoints right now, Tuscan, Gavutu, and Bocage, which um, some people certainly don't agree with, right? People think Bocage is terrible. I think Tuscan, on the whole, is um, one of the more promising maps, just the way it looks and the way it's laid out. I like the look of it, to be honest. Gavutu is also kind of an interesting one, but um, and some of the spawns on this map seem incredibly chaotic, as we will look at right here. So these are some examples from this scrim set that um, Brian saying to the Rocker guys play up against Los Angeles Grillers. As Hangi says, you know, Gavutu has hills that make sense, clear lanes with not much clutter, spawns are not so spawn trappy, makes the most sense to be used in competitive play. Now, um, if you look at this from Stanley, he's trying to push up the right-hand side there, kills this guy, the guy spawns right in front of him and he takes him out, and there's all these guys here, he dies, and look at the squad spawns that come up, baby. This is Modern Warfare in a nutshell right here. Everyone's just charging out of this stuff. It's, um, it's just funny to look at because it just reminds me so much of how Modern Warfare worked. But when you would die, you'd see their whole team spawn up on the guy that just killed you. It's just um, it's classic squ squad spawn type stuff. But uh, there was another clip that came out as well on just some really questionable spawns. The one that really stood out to me was this one that um, well, Stanley actually quote tweeted. What is that spawn? What am I playing? So what happens in this clip is Stanley's on this kind of, I don't know, boat looking thing in the middle here. Accuracy dies and I'll, I'll zoom in for this so you guys can actually see it, but look where accuracy spawns up that number 7 arrow, in between all of the players, so there is squad spawns to a degree but that spawn that accuracy got right there just doesn't make any sense to me, like I have no idea how his team is all over the other side of the map where the hard point is, and he's just spawning in the middle of the blue team effectively, with them like how are you meant to block that spawn right, and getting the perfect rotation to next, so um, really confusing stuff to be honest, but uh, well and as Stanley says, continues here, you know, screw it bro let's just play Das House hard point right, because all the other maps seem to be kind of broken right now so what exactly do you do, I don't really know like, some of the spawns are definitely dodgy, and this is what Scump is kind of implying right here. Shotzi and Co are saying, yes, this game has a really high ceiling, it's a lot of fun, it's um, it's really enjoyable to play, the mechanics, the maps are pretty good, well, at least they look pretty good, do they play well, I don't really know, but um, despite some of the issues in the game, Scump's like, yes, it has a high ceiling, but right now, it, it's, you know, it's pretty messed up. A little bit. I like SMD, yeah. I just don't like pubs, that's my only thing. Yeah, no, 100%, dude, Vanguard is like, bro, this guy's a f***er for this game, like, actually. But it's sure. completely f***. 
right now. Yeah. Okay. Keep going. What? What's? What's? <laughs> and remember, we're still just, we're still off season. But I think you're still in the clear. But keep going. I mean, I'll, dude, I'll say after. There's just so many. Like I don't know. I love these maps. That's just me. Like I mean, there's probably about like two out of the what, sixteen, right? They're probably like yeah. But like most of these maps are actually insane. Yeah, like this is like there's that like, they're like I don't know. They're so unique. Here. Eagle's Nest is that the one with the with the, they, with they, the cliffs? They just, they just got deleted out of the game. That and um, Red Star. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're the, fun. The core they're, of the game fun. is fun. Like it's it's fun to play. Like the engine's good. The the way the gunplay feels is good. It's Beautiful just, map. It's just the glitches that are so annoying. Yeah, like, that's what I was talking about. For S and D, like S and D is probably like the funnest to play right now. When mm -hmm. there's like a, you're learning like all the new maps, like the bomb sets, angles, and stuff. Yeah, 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 angles. Like everyone's just having fun. The prize comes to the best. Attorneys are getting the most viewership. All that <laughs> stuff. And then you're playing with this bomb glitch. Like, so <laughs> it's like damn. Like, you have to play more aggressive on defense. Yeah, you do. If the bomb glitch wasn't in the game, it'd be so. Other much team plants the bomb, you lose. Oh, okay. You just lose. They plant. You can't. What are you gonna do? They just they, run and hide and just look defusing. through the whole map and says defusing. Yeah, it's already hard enough to retake in this game, and then you add this bomb glitch. Like my grandma could hold a post plant. I'm not even trolling. So, so if they get bombed down, you're playing hide and seek. Yeah, yeah. literally, like Michael Myers. Look, just looking. And then you start just hoping you find three him. Seconds in, you start getting shot off from cross map. Just, like, yeah. just hoping you find him. And if you're in a one v two, forget about it. Oh yeah, yeah. one's across the map. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> one's playing like kind of close, hiding, and the other one's across the map, <laughs> just looking through a wall. <laughs> You have to, yeah, like, Bob's good, Bob's you have to, you have to yeah. stay on it for four seconds and just hope you pick the right way. Like, yeah, get you have to, you have to pick the right timing, in. the right angle. Like, it's not it's impossible. This is not real SD. Not real SD. No, not at all. Us SD kids know what real SD oh, is. It's not even close. close. Like, you can't make plays close. on bomb. No. Like, at all. Like, but, you can't but, do that. The game is good, though. The game is good. Really good. Listen, I, I said it. This is another great example of what the guys are talking about. This may be the bloom mechanic in the game right now. I'm not sure exactly what caused this issue. But, um, of course, we know that there's a thing called bloom in this game where, um, effectively, the bullets don't go exactly where you aim them, necessarily. There can be some variation. I think um, it's effectively the accuracy thing. If you look at your weapons and you see some attachments that are affecting your accuracy, what this means is, especially on SMGs, ARs, it's not quite as big of a deal, but on SMGs, like um, your bullets do not necessarily go where you aim them. They can just decide if they want to, to just go in a different direction based on this accuracy function. And um, this may be what happened here. It looks like to me, Illy is right on this guy and uh, hitting every single bullet. He only gets like a couple of hit markers here on Demyansk. I'm pretty sure that's this map. And um, he only gets a couple of hit markers. Like, I don't know, like he's right on the guy. And I don't know if this is Bloom affecting it, but uh, it may well be because um, Stanley's like, yeah, like, bro, what even is this? And as Doug says, being a sub is tough ARs are blessed but some of the AR players certainly don't agree with this one because uh, well Sasha goes on to say yo Doug put out an STG on Bokeh for me and post the gameplay because uh, well, on that map it's MP40 central to be honest lol bet says center so um, yeah Sasha having a difficult time on that one for sure even with the STG in hand but with some of the you know the gentleman's agreements that are currently in play in terms of damage mags and like you know, the certain rounds and stuff doesn't make the STG as strong as it can do in pubs with those crazy builds you can make but um yeah the bloom mechanic seems to be kind of strange and this is another example really here from Envoy. Did I get bloomed or was the shot a little bit shaky, right? This is just one of those things that like, you know, why do we even have to worry about this? He kills the first guy. He then looks for the bomb planter and it really seems like he should be getting some hit markers there. Maybe he shouldn't be killing the guy, but um, it feels like on, the, on this kill, like there should be some shots that should be hitting right here, but uh, apparently none of them are. And maybe the bloom like increases over time. So like when you're shooting your first bullets, they should be kind of accurate. But if you miss those ones and then you start actually dragging your aim onto targets, some of those shots can just completely miss. So um, it's just one of these mechanics where it's like, okay, you can shoot the guy dead on targets, but just like, you know, sometimes you just get, I guess what they would call it in CS, they'd call it, you got CS goes. And I guess in Call of Duty, I don't exactly know how you would describe it, but that's like seemingly how it is nowadays as well in Call of Duty. So I'm just some of these issues with the game. It's like, you know, why do we have to deal with this? The spawns are dodgy. We've thankfully got some fixes coming to search and destroy. We've got the doors. We've got the breakable walls. There was another clip actually from a BZ, I thought, which I might just share for you guys, maybe at the end of the video or something where um, he's on, I think it's Berlin and he's just breaking down the walls and thinking, wow, this game is incredible, right? I'm just like shooting through this wall. Oh, wow, maybe I'll go to this wall and break down this one as well and shoot through it. The problem is if you turn them off, the maps honestly become way too open. So maybe the pros will just have to deal with it. It's somewhat tough to say. This is something else that maybe the pros will have to deal with here on Oasis, where, um, you know, somehow Adam Rowland gets up all the way on top of this rock here. I don't know how he does it, but uh, this is a kind of a, a classic like, place to type spot I'm sure he would like to use if he could. And uh, yeah, show me how he says. So maybe some other people will figure out how to do this as well. Probably something that might be gentleman's agreement 
in professional play if they do figure out how to use it. But um, still, you never know what Clayster could be up to. He's been using spots like this in the past and way back in the day. You guys, I'm sure if you're OGs, you'll remember the Black Ops 3. Is this an intended line of sight video? If you guys haven't watched that yet, I would recommend you just type it in Clayster, line of sight or something into YouTube. You'll find it. It's probably like a 12, 13 minutes or something of him effectively going around the map. And just to explain the backstory of that real quick, because you guys might be interested. During a Black Ops 3 league match, FaZe versus, I forget who they're playing, maybe Complexity or something. It might have been Parasite's team. Uh, exactly, I forget exactly. But um, he was using a spot on Stronghold Search and Destroy where you could get up into a tree and like you could basically just have to use your jetpack again and again. And if you got it just right, you could stand on a branch in this tree and that you could use your sniper rifle to look all the way across the map and see the B-bomb that if your team had planted it. Now, um, you know, effectively, that was that was deemed by the league that uh, that was an unintended line of sight and therefore like uh, he would got forfeited for the series and they lost the entire series, I'm pretty sure. Now, that was very controversial at the time because Clayster came out and said, well, how do I know that's unintended? There's so many spots on a load of different maps that uh, if I can get into it and I can stand on it, how do I know that's unintended? Maybe the developer's intended for that spot to be there. Now, of course, that one was maybe a little bit questionable, but he goes on to show a load of other ones in the video, which are like, well, I'm actually standing on something here. Like, do I, you know, how do I know if the developer's meant for this to be here? Like, yes, this angle is very, very good and it's stupid overpowered, but, um, you know, if I can get here and I can jump to this spot with my jetpack and my wall run, like, um, you know, why shouldn't I be able to use it? That type of question. And um, it's, a, it, well, it's a great video. It's one of the legendary ones in Call of Duty history, really, if you guys are a little bit newer. And also this from Shotty, just um, this was like the other side of uh, what was going on with Illy, right, with the kind of blue mechanics that were causing issue. This was the end of that map that they had. And as a, well, Illy says, I'm having negative fun. I thought it was kind of a funny way to spin things. And he goes on to talk to Formal and says like, yeah, hang on a second. Am I just awful? Or like, you know, did these shots actually hit the target? And for some reason, they did not register. But very much intriguing your thoughts and all this stuff in the comment section below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it, hitting the like button tells the YouTube gods this is a good video. I was like, you should see it as well. And I've got the competitive quality to the community. Thank you as always. Take care. And I will see you next time. Hey, did he here, Adam? Adam? Me on your brother? Oh, oh wow. Oh, look how, look how cool this game is. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh wow. Oh, let me. Oh my god. This is so cool. Oh my god. It's up, it's up, it's up. Oh, bro. I just had negative fun, bro. Wait, if you, like, go back to my POV and watch that map, please. Wait, yo, is this, yo, Brandon, is this the internet? Like, let me know. Let me see this clip. Bro, what? <laughs> Wait, Matt, come here. <laughs> come I need here. Matt. Yo, Matt. Do you have Matt, Matt here? Matt, you. Give me the Matt. answer you want. Is this freaking internet shit right now or what? <laughs> well, yo, yo, 0.25, right? 0.25ing it. Fun buy. It's like, if I'm missing, you, like, say I'm shit, okay? <laughs> it's, like, even, it's not even, like, hit scan because, like, I'm shooting in front of him, too. Yeah. At the end. Because I, I, like, in my head, I'm thinking, what the fuck, this isn't hitting him. I gotta start shooting in front of him. The Bro, I'm literally, like, playing, like, I'm, I'm a second late. <laughs> second late. Bro, it's not even, like, it's literally not even that it's not his camp. He's, like, I was shooting at him. And then after I realized, I'm like, oh, fuck, like, my bullets are hitting. Towards the end, I started leading as well. Just to make sure, okay, maybe it's not his camp. And my leads don't work.